Hello, welcome. Take a minute, pause the video, read the problem, and then press play when you're ready to solve it together. So there's a lot in this problem. Let's just read through it. It says that the game of roulette is played and the wheel has 35 slots. Two are 0 and 0, 0. The rest are numbered 1 through 33. You can place a $7 bet on any number other than 0 or 0, 0 to win. So our bet is $7. If you win, you get, so I'm reading this part, if you win, you get your bet returned plus the winnings. Cool. If you lose, you lose the $7 bet. Find the expected value of the game. So you you have this wheel with 35 spots, only you have to place a bet on somewhere between 1 and 33. But the idea is that only one of those spots wins. It's one winning spot out of 33 numbers and 0 and 0, 0 out of 35 spots. Now, the way I'm, I'm going to count this, when you win, what are they going to hand you back, right? Well, you're getting the 426 plus the $7 bet, so it's $433. Um, when you lose, which is every other time, right, or essentially, if count from this perspective, let me say it this way, everyone loses $7. Everyone. Even, even if... Um, even if you win, the way I've counted this, and this is one way to solve it, I'm saying you get four thirty-three plus the seven dollars back. But initially, at least, you lost that seven dollars. From another perspective, if you want to rewrite that in a different way, you could say you start off by losing seven dollars. Then, if you win, you get the seven dollars and the four hundred and twenty-six dollars back. But that only happens one thirty-fifth of the time. Another way of doing this is not to look so much. Uh, in this case, at physically what happens with the money as it moves back and forth with steps, but to look at your overall profit gain. When you win $426, even though they're adding back the $7 and handing it to you, your profit is only $426, right? That $7 you got back, that was already yours. And that's only going to happen one thirty-fifth of the time. All the other times, you're going to lose $7. You're not getting anything back. And these are equivalent statements and they will get you the same expected value. Now, unfortunately, I can't pull up my um, calculator on the screen right now. So I'm just going to check both the, both sides. Negative 7 plus 433 times 1 over 35. We get about, this is, I think, the nearest hundredth. So it's 5.37. And then let's check the right side to make sure that works. You might pause the video and try it. 426 times 1 over 35 minus 7 times 34 over 35, and we get the same thing. It's $5.37. So it's two ways of looking at the expected value, and I hope that helps. Thank you.